night, guys. It is a fine spring weekend here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here at Bugs in a Jar Farm outside of Ithaca, New York. And uh, good Lord, what we have been through the past few days. I can't even remember the last time I was here. And uh, apparently Friday just came and went. Uh, I was in the middle of moving a shed yesterday, totally forgot that Friday was even here. So we're going to have our ecological meltdown around our brand. Dollar short and a day late, but uh, don't worry. Uh, he will soon be full of doom here. So we're going to head back over to mongabay.com and see what Rhett Butler and the boys and girls are up to. Uh, well, I have been moving the shed from hell, and we're going to start out as we frequently do in uh, Brazil. Wow, imagine this. Brazil's environment minister investigated for alleged illegal timber sales. Yes. <clears throat> One week after Brazil's lower house of Congress approved a bill that exempts environmental impact assessments and licensing for development projects, Brazil's own environment minister, Ricardo Saez, has been named in a probe for alleged illegal export of Amazon timber. Yes, the ruling cites, quote, extremely atypical financial transactions, I bet, totaling $2.7 million. Uh, there you go. Uh, Saul has denied any wrongdoing and called the operation exaggerated and unnecessary. My guess is there is nothing uh, atypical about this financial transaction. This is probably the most typical financial transaction all over the planet. Uh, every one of these environment ministers and, and all of this crap, the, uh, it, it's, the, it's the foxes guarding the hen house, guys, everywhere you go. Uh, anyway, what a surprise. Good Lord. All right. Uh, what is going on with plastics disposal? I should take you in, uh, in my kitchen and show you what's going on, uh, with plastic disposal. Um, they're talking about some BS UN treaty. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, talking about you know shipping this crap all over the the planet. I, I don't know where where is all of the plastic ending. The little bit that's not in the ocean, I think, is probably going to sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, so the United States is the only major nation not to have fully implemented this BS treaty, so so what? Uh, the U.S. remains a major dumper of hazardous waste globally, including large amounts of plastics. Do you think so? Um, even if the, this uh, BS treaty is successful in its mission, it will only solve part of the plastics problems as it does not address the manufacture of plastics or their domestic disposal. Yes. Plastics and a wide variety of human-made materials are included in the quote novel entities planetary boundary one of the major one of nine major threats to earth i need to do a whole round about the nine planetary boundaries the novel entities which plastic uh you know plastic chemicals all of this crap being made by humans most of the other 
uh, uh, boundaries or stuff or natural resource boundaries being, you know, used up by humans and causing all this problem. This is the novel entities, meaning planet eating crap made by humans. Okay. Uh, gee, what a surprise. You know, I've been saying for years how uh, the planet eaters want nothing more than these Amazon Indians to start firing on them. As soon as some Amazon Indian, uh, they, they have been baiting these Amazon Indians, just waiting for one of them to shoot one of these planet eaters with a bow and arrow or whatever. As soon as it happened, wow, this was a really tough prediction to make. I think I called this one about three or four years ago. <clears throat> Well, on these shootouts, after gold miners shoot, uh, this is the gold miners shooting the Yanomani people. Brazil cuts environmental regulation even further. Uh, this is what they were just talking about, how uh, they passed this draft bill um, that withdraws environmental impact assessments and licensing for development projects ranging from constructions of roads to agriculture. Um, what the... As the lower house moved to approve the bill, the Yanomani people were under attack by illegal gold miners with automatic weapons for the third time this week. Um, quote, they are not shooting to try and scare us. They want us dead, a Yanomami leader told Mogabe. I think I remember reading in the mainstream media this week, or did somebody send me an article that I, I think that one of these Indian tribes uh, are shooting back, and that's... Uh, I I anyway, guys, this is exactly what the planet eaters want, is these guys to shoot back, and that will just say, well, we were just defending ourselves as these land grabbers and miners and all the rest of them, uh, you, you know, head into these people's territories and they get shot. To, uh, you know where this is going. Uh, okay. Oh, yesterday was Endangered Species Day. Went right through, uh, right past my radar while I was moving a shed. I did not realize that yesterday was Endangered Species Day. Uh, here are some of the species featured in this new seven-episode podcast. The fairy possum, the black-footed ferret, the saola, <clears throat> the African white-backed vulture, the axolotl, the humphead wrasse, and the golden dart frog. Yes, we can kiss goodbye to all of those. Um, okay, we now have a satellite <coughs> tracking global <coughs> coral bleaching events. That is going to be uh, one busy satellite this year. Here is the knee slapper of the week. Okay, guys. Protected areas. Protected areas now cover nearly 17% of the Earth's surface, according to the UN. All right. They are uh, closing in. On, the, on these biodiversity targets set back in 2010. Uh-huh. Yes. 
protected areas. Don't don't get me going. I could uh, Cougar. Would you like to come on again and explain the concept of protected areas? I, I, anybody uh, thinking for for one damn minute uh, that 17 percent of this planet is under a protect the definition of a protected area is some greenwashing politician in the pocket of a damn land grabber. Uh, drawing a line uh, around some blank space on a map and painting it green. Sending it to the UN and say, look at this green spot uh, on this map. So sick and tired of the, this greenwashing BS. Uh, why Rhett Butler isn't blowing the BS whistle on this crap. All right, uh, here is, well, there's a lot on here, guys. I got a lot on my plate today. Uh, what is going on with uh, Joko Widodo? This is the Joko Widodo story of the week. Indonesian President Joko Widodo slammed for his wait and see approach on climate action. Uh, yes. <clears throat> During last month's climate summit of world leaders, top emitters announced more ambitious climate targets in a bid to combat climate change. Missing from that list, however, was Indonesia, whose president Joko Widodo instead called on industrialized countries to set an example for other nations to follow. Yes. Uh, so I guess Joko is now saying Indonesia will achieve carbon neutrality by 2070. They're going to start paying attention to this. Okay, D, D, you will not believe this. Uh, Rhett Butler has come out with his own commentary. Uh, this post is a commentary. The views expressed are those of the author, Rhett Butler, not necessarily Manga Bay. Okay, Rhett, finally, thank you. Rhett has to tell us in his own commentary, Amazon palm oil has not lived up to its promise of sustainability. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh. The investigation from Manga Bay found that the palm oil industry in the Brazilian Amazon has been using agrochemicals in concentrations that are considered unhealthy in other parts of the world, exacerbating land disputes and engaging in deforestation. The sector has been dogged by allegations of land grabbing. Do you think so? Uh, says Rhett, quote, In the late 2000s, early 2010s, the Brazilian palm oil industry told us that oil palm plantations in the expansion would take a different path than in Southeast Asia. Yes. Do you think that's what they told you, Rhett? Okay, we were just talking uh, about the 17% of the planet being officially protected. We're going to take a trip to one protected area in Colombia. <clears throat> Settlers invading and deforesting Colombian National Park at an unstoppable speed. News that I guess the United Nations is not aware of and their sustainability goals. 
Colombia's Tanigua National Park and every other national park uh, in Colombia is experiencing one of the highest levels of deforestation of any such alleged protected area in the country and has lost more than a quarter of its primary forest since 2002. Sources say this deforestation is happening due to settlers who are illegally invading and establishing roads, settlements, and farms in the protected forest and clearing it in the process. Other national parks and indigenous territories in the Colombian Amazon are also experiencing such incursions. Sources say they are happening now at such a scale that the government has been unable to stop it. Uh, since, you know, you have people like the Environment Minister uh, of Brazil making, what was that, $2.7 million off of rolling out the red carpet to these crooks, to these planet eaters. Uh, Colombia, Brazil, Indonesia. All right. The Pope, a prince, and a judge walk into a bar. Yes, it sounds like the beginning of a bad joke because that's exactly what it is. But Pope Francis, Prince Charles, and judges around the world are now supporting the rights of nature. Yes. Uh, police. That is, uh, the Pope, a prince, and a judge walk into a bar so they can cut a deal to carve up what's left of the planet. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on with sea turtles. Oh, uh, uh, well, we all know what's going on with sea turtles. Uh, too complicated to get into. All right, now we're going to go to the marine protected areas. You've heard all of this crap about marine uh, protect, which is even easier. I guess, what do they do when they draw a, a little line around a piece of ocean? Uh, do they paint it, they don't paint it green, do they paint it a darker shade of blue, or do they just put a, a bunch of uh, plastic trash v uh, floating around on top of it? Uh, so what is going on with marine protected areas in Chile? Chile's marine protected areas are not safe from salmon farms. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, in Chile's four southernmost regions, five marine protected areas now have salmon farming concessions inside them with one protected area having more than three hundred salmon farms inside it. This threatens the unique ecosystems of Patagonia. Yes, the 416 salmon farms that lie inside marine protected areas belong to 32 companies. Uh, good God. I love it when they ask a question, did you know that Spix's night monkeys only weigh around one kilogram? I did not know that. Uh, let's see. Uh, again, guys, I'm skipping over a lot of this uh, stuff because I got to make some phone calls here. All right, let's look in at wealth inequality. Wealth inequality fuels the flow of wildlife 
from poor countries to rich ones. Who would have thunk it? Wealthier countries are the biggest importers of wildlife, which, more than often than not, originates from poorer countries. Huh. So, the U.S., France, and Italy, huh, the U.S., France, and Italy, and China, nowhere mentioned in this story, are the largest importers of wildlife products, while Indonesia, Jamaica, I didn't think there was any wildlife left in Jamaica, while Indonesia, Jamaica and Honduras are the biggest wildlife exporters. I don't believe this crap for one minute, guys. I, I'm flat out hitting my little button. Uh, there is no way in hell that the, well, the U.S. is the biggest. There's no way that France and Italy are, are, are number two and three in the wildlife import. And there is no way that Jamaica is uh, it, it is number number two uh, anyway uh, moving on here's looking at how your chocolate bar is taking down a planet yep 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 you will not believe this that this is on a, you know this green washing a sustainable forestry certification this FSC you will not believe guys that uh, an FSC certified Indonesian logger may have cleared orangutan habitat yes uh -huh. The company is the second largest deforester in Indonesia's pulp and paper sector, according to the report. Um, yes, a, a, a pulp and paper company being uh, certified as a sustainable forestry corporation. All right, we have Leonard Leonardo DiCaprio. He is back at it, saving the planet. You go, Leonardo. Leonardo is giving $43 million to rescue the Galapagos Islands. Thank you, Leonardo DiCaprio, for saving those big tortoises. Where would those tortoises be without Leonardo looking out for them? Uh, let's see. All right, what is going on with people trying environmental defenders in Cambodia? Outrage as Cambodian court convicts activists for inciting, quote, social chaos on May 5th, as court in Cambodia convicted and sentenced five activists from the environmental group Mother Nature Cambodia. Uh, they were convicted for intending to cause, quote, social chaos by planning a protest of the government-sanctioned destruction of Phnom Penh's lakes, which are being filled in for development. Uh, sentenced to 18 months in prison. There you go. At least they weren't killed. Uh, all right. What's going on with forest in Bolivia? After Brazil the South American country that lost the greatest area of primary forest over the past 20 years is Bolivia. The past few years, the landlocked nation has experienced vast forest fires that have affected millions of acres. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... Anyway, that's what's going on uh, in Bolivia. Uh, let's see. 
Here's this big debate, keeping animals wild versus safe. Despite growing media and public pressure to, quote, sanitize the wild, the priority for conservation should always be keeping population in areas wild above keeping individual animals safe. Six leading lion conservationists argue. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, of course, this article is a commentary. Uh, I think we already, they already had this story last week. Is planting trees as good for the earth as everyone says? The answer is no. Uh, all right, we have a new marine protected area in Australia. All right. Are you listening, salmon farmers? Uh, anyway, guys, I could go on and on, but the phone is ringing, and I smell some bratwurst cooking on the propane grill, and uh, I've got to get my garden planted. So I'm going to wrap up this week's, and uh, I think I have a pretty good Sunday sermon planned for tomorrow. We're going to uh, answer the question in the sermon tomorrow, could humans really destroy all life on earth? We will delve into that question tomorrow, but right now i got to wrap it up and uh, get out there and get her done. And I suggest you get out there and get her done while you still can. Bye, guys. All right, little dog. Did you survive? Let me say, Pop, I survived. You ready to go get that snakey? You want to get that snake or the frog? What you want to go get today like that? <laughs>